Hello and welcome. In this video, we're taking a look at the Eurohike Ribble 2 tent. It is a tunnel tent. I'll leave a snapshot of the, um, the information on the front of the bag on the screen now so you can see the measurements. It's uh, got 3,000 hydrostatic head. It's for two men. Well, one man in his rucksack, probably. Uh, it is quite heavy, 4.2 kilos. So it is, uh, it is quite a heavy tent. With it being that weight, is it a backpacking tent? For me personally, this would suit someone with a motorcycle. Um, it wasn't too bad carrying it in, but with all the other, all the other gear as well, uh, the bag probably weighed about 25 kilo. Um, so yeah, we're going to be uh, going to be trying it out and having a bit of a camp tonight. So uh, we've got plenty of light left. We've got about two hours light left. I'm going to clear this area and uh, we'll get it set up. Right, so this is the first time I've opened this bag. I hope it's all here, should be. We've got the uh, instruction sheet. As you can tell, I've not opened it. We've got pegs, poles, tent. That's all we need. Right, I haven't got a clue how to set it up. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't really say. Pitch instructions. Well, we don't really need them, do we? We'll just work it out as we go along. Uh, right, okay, what have we got here? That looks like the inner. Yeah, that's the inner. So I'm presuming, I'm going to presume, that's that, that's last. Nice, bright guide ropes. Right, let's open this up. Looks like a door. Wonder if you can uh, actually lift it up and move it once you've set it all up. That looks like where the. Uh... That's a zip. All oh, right, yeah, I see. Looks like a clip system for the uh, for the poles. The poles go on the outside, so I'll sort them out now. Right, just to make life a little bit easier while I get the inner in, I'm just going to... Uh... Oh, right, okay, they're attached. So I presume we need... Uh... Need some poles for that as well. That's just... Uh... Do the door. just on the normal standard toggles that you get with pretty much all tents yeah it's fairly fairly good size in here bring you in a second these panels aren't removable um, but you can roll them up put them out the way if need be uh, but we'll get the awning up in a second um, so I'll bring you in, you can have a look at the uh, the size. I know it's hard to tell on the camera, but uh, yes, fairly good size. That I'd say three metres, three metres by two and a half metres, something like that. 
Well, that's me in it. Plenty of room. Right, let's get the uh, the inner in now. Right, I'll just show you how the uh, how the inner goes in the best I can. Uh, basically, you've got some hooks. You've got four hooks along the back. They just hook into uh, two where the poles are, and then two at the ends onto the little metal loops. Says. Let's go on the other side there. And then one at the back, right at the back here, which goes onto a little um, a little triangle. I'll take a photo of that and put it on the screen for you. So once you've got your ground sheet all in, you've got toggles, and they just go through like brass eyelets. That are around the roof. Fairly simple stuff to do. Right, so that's everything in. Uh, I'll bring you in handheld now to show you a few of the features. I've got my kit bag on the ground here, just uh, in the vestibule area, just for something to sit on. Uh, the vestibule area is about two foot wide by about, I'd say about four foot, no, probably five foot. Um, so yeah, that's me waffling, I'll bring you in. Right, as you can see, there's uh, plenty of space in here. Um, I'd say definitely two men, two full-grown men, definitely. One man, uh, a big rucksack, his uh, recurved bow, a few other bits of pieces, still plenty of room in there, probably even get Max in here as well. Right, so one downfall, you only, you only get one um, hook for a, for a torch. There's not one at the other side. Ventilation wise, you've got uh, a good size of mesh in here on the inner and there's meshing on the outer as well. Uh, I'll show you that when we go outside. There's three pockets. There's one there, one there, and where's the other one? Oh, the other one's down in this corner. So you get three pockets to stow your stuff in. There's not one on this side. Right, let me climb in and show you the door. Right, so the door's circular in construction. Very easy to do, even one-handed, I think, I'd be able to do it. Yeah, so we all know what uh, what a door looks like. And the ventilation, you have to have the door closed, but uh, yeah, you can open the, the vent up there so that uh, you don't get all the, uh, all the midges and bugs in. Um, I would have thought they would have made an actual bigger fly sheet, that, you know, mosquito net than that, but uh, there we go. And you can, you've also got toggles here that you can uh, roll it up if you wish. Right, uh, what else can I say about the inside? It's a, it's a bathtub style ground sheet that's uh, part of the inner tent, obviously. You get a good, a good five, six inches there. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's, it's, it's the standard kind of PVC ground, ground sheets. You could put another one underneath if you wanted to, but I'm not going to bother. So yeah, there's plenty of room. I'm going to have to excuse the noise in the background because uh, it is a busy time of year in the countryside. So we're just in the vestibule area. Uh, one thing is you have to unzip these so you can close your door at night, otherwise you won't be able to get the, to the zip to close it up. Uh, you've got a couple of windows there. You can uh, They've got... To put, privacy screens on them i've just left that one there they're just on a little hook at the bottom uh, where am i pointing there just a little hook there they roll back and again we're onto these toggle systems but yeah there's my uh, army kit bag so if you know if you know what a uh, a sea bag or kit bag size is that's about the size of your your vestibule the width of it anyway and then we've got a bit of stuff down there cheap pegs don't like these pegs we'll be replacing them with some aluminium ones and it's very soft ground where i am as well so we'll see if it actually stays up tonight but yeah they always give you cheap pegs and it's quite heavy because um, they are fiberglass poles as well so right let's go outside as you can see you get a very bright green guy ropes guy lines with it right one thing i don't like is that there's no way to kind of peg this out so it kind of just 
the bottom of it the skirt just flaps around kind of thing um, let's go around the back it's all fairly normal stuff guys you know what to you know what a tent is so yeah the uh, the poles put them through this piece first then just clip them with these clips and they're on these kind of uh, it's like a metal spike that goes up inside the um, the pole and again on this side but I've got a solution for that I've brought some um, webbing with me and some sewing uh, stuff so we can just sew a little bit of webbing on there so I can put two two pegs either side right so I just forgot to mention that in the uh, in the tent stuff you do get a spare um, guy rope and you get some material for patching up as well just listen to all the bird life it's a lovely time of day sunset so i've also got a new stove most of my subscribers, my regular subscribers, will know I like using primer stuff. This is the uh, the Mima Stove Duo, and I will do a video about this stove in a later video. Right, so there it is built up. We're in the vestibule. The door is open, so we're okay. We're all safe. Absolutely brilliant stoves, primuses are. Give my hands a bit of a warm. I won't be actually using this to cook with tonight. Um, I've got some uh, something else. I'll just warm my hands up. It's actually a little bit too hot. Ah, that's better. Right, so the temperature is dropping a little bit. Um, we're about nine o'clock at night now. So I'm just gonna prepare my food. Yes, I have got the, uh, the stove in here, just warming it up a little bit. I've got my eye on it and we've got good ventilation. Right, so tonight's tea is gonna be a Wayfarer all day breakfast, Duke of Edinburgh Award uh, food, this is. So what I usually do is just bend it over like this. Oh, by the way, uh, I've got one of my subscribers I've just been chatting to, uh, Liam. Yeah, <laughs> there's your shout out, mate. So we just uh, make it into a small packet like that. Then we're going to use going to be using a self-heating ration pack. See if I can get into it. Usually have a sticker on them. There's the sticker, so we can seal it back up. Some people have a lot of problems with these. Uh... Oh, that's stuck on there, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, some people have a uh, a lot of problems with these self-heating ration packs. Now it's really easy. I'll try and bring you in the picture. So we've got a plastic bag, a bag of chemicals and his food. So basically we whack his food in. Like so. Put the bag in and then to top up it'll tell you where to top up to on this occasion it's there so make sure you've got everything in there first top it with water it doesn't need to be clean water it could be dirty water and it only needs about well, what's that about an inch and a half of water in there um, then fold it over so just bear with me let me open the uh, the water bottle Whack a bit of water in there. 
up to the line. There do Andy, you got it right first time. Let's find somewhere for that. So I don't want water in the on the ground sheet. I'll tell you what, I'll just hold it and put the lid back on. Get rid of that. Then all you do, then all you do is fold it over. In fact, I'm going to roll it over the other way because the packet's there, so I'll roll it over this way. I hope all this is in uh, in camera shot because I ain't doing it again. Where's my sticker gone? Put the sticker back on. That's all you need to do, and then just lay it flat. Now, a lot of people have problems with them because they start messing with them. The best thing to do is just let it do its business. It's about 12 minutes for your meal, so just let it do its business. I'm going to stick it outside the uh, the door, the tent door, um, because I don't want it burning or melting the ground sheet. So I'll bring you back in a minute. All right, so I just saw the uh, an almighty pop and uh, the seal wasn't uh, the seal wasn't on there properly so you can hear obviously that it's uh, doing its business now i'll just reseal that and then just leave it all right i'm just going to move the stove outside for a second you can see it's got a bit of ice on there but uh, that's a good thing with Primus. They work in all, all weathers. This is the winter gas, by the way. Right. Uh, tip some of the water out. Oh, that's hot. Throw it down. And by doing this, you actually keep your food warm because it's still going to be working even though it's finished. Right, rip that open. Where's the finger? There we go. That way. Tidy that up in the morning. Well there we go, it looks a bit like baby food but I'm sure it's going to be tasty so oh I can see a few sausages in there and what have you, let's give it a go. Mm. Right I'm going to finish this little lot, one thing I do is put it in the palm of my uh, hand with my uh, with jumper over it, warms my hand up as well that, that way. Right I'm going to finish my tea bring you back in a second. Oh, yeah. Right, so I've had my tea now, listen to a bit of the radio. Uh, it's not going to be long before I hit the sack, so uh, I'll bring you back in the morning, give you my uh, me final thoughts about the tent. Well, good morning, and what a lovely spring morning it is today. Uh, I was up nice and early this morning, about half past six, and I've sewn the two webbings onto the sides of the tent. Uh, that's now going to separate the outer tent from the inner tent a little bit more um, so the inner tent doesn't get wet through if the outer fly becomes wet through condensation or raining. So I'm down at the archery range and I've got some, uh, got some new arrows to try out. Um, so stay tuned for that video. Uh, that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you found it educational uh, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.